I'll make this one for anybody above 13. In between my last two videos, I was actually giving a mini lecture and brief discourse, and I was visited by a lovely family. The mother is Esther, as in the Bible. We had a lovely conversation. I correctly deduced that her daughter, who's interested in science, is left-handed, as myself. The sole purpose of this video, because she did make sure she, she was sure to collect my name, she may become a subscriber. And so this video is for Esther and her daughter. I didn't ask the name. That would be improper. And what I was talking about was that we left-handers have, because the feminine brain already has really good connection between left and right hemisphere, they can be great math mathematicians, but if you're a left-handed female, that actually gives you an advantage over other people, especially in those intuitive leaps that we call theory, the hypothetical. In science, Esther and her daughter, there is a primary division. There is, I'm trying to, there is pure science. That's what I primarily do. I've done some applied. There's pure science in which a left-hander who's really, I already gave her good advice to go ahead and jump towards pre-calculus and that what was coming up. The she already did geometry. Trigonometry is going to bore her mindless. You need to. Realize that your your fort, F-O-R-T-E, is going to be in the pure side of science. I'm actually doing this, trying to do this correctly to you left and right, as you read, is pure science, then applied science. Applied science can get, become extremely boring for a left-hander who's gifted in the theoretical end, in the pure end of science. The majority of my work has been in the pure end and only a little bit of it applied. Because in the applied, you have to do all sorts of tedious stuff that can actually be done by computers now, but I'm trying to give sound advice here to a young lady who's planning on pursuing uh, some field in science. Is that remember, the primary division is between pure and applied. And left-handed people, such as myself, have a distinct advantage in the theoretical world, in the pure world of science. Perspicacity, observation, intuitive leaps. We often are the ones that can solve a problem long before the applied people ever get there. So, y'all have a nice evening. And I want to thank Ann, Esther, and her family for visiting with me. Actually, I didn't, they were offering me hot drink or whatever. And told them, no, I'm fine. That's my usual reply here when people ask me if I want to. No, I'm fine. I'm. So, please remember, Esther, keep her on that path towards the pure part. Don't get too hung up on the fact that she will have. You find almost no left-handed mathematicians in history. That's not our, our forte or fort. Our strength is in leaping over those people who are trapped in their left hemisphere, that rectilinear thinking. Now we're able to jump over them and get ahead of them in pure science. Much as Sir Michael, I told him about Sir Michael Faraday. One guy came up with James Maxwell. No, Maxwell still should. She said Tesla. One guy mentioned James Maxwell. James Maxwell's work still was standing on the shoulders of Faraday, just like Tesla was. I mean, Tesla made a lot of money, you know, shooting uh, like lightning bolts at himself inside of what? A Faraday cage. So, that's it. This is to Esther and her daughter, long before Purim, one of our most joyous celebrations. And for those of you who've never read the Bible, Esther is a a name, Hadassah, those are names that we love. We Jews love those names, okay?
Esti was really like her Persian name. Hadassah was her real, her Jew name. Okay, pure science, applied science. Two different types of people. Okay.